Our physical spaces often reflect our inner state. A cluttered room can lead to a cluttered mind, hindering our focus and productivity. But what about our digital spaces? The rise of technology has brought about a new form of clutter digital clutter. Just like a messy room, a disorganized digital life can negatively impact our productivity, focus, and overall well-being. It's time to declutter our digital lives and experience the freedom that comes with an organized and streamlined digital space. Digital clutter encompasses the unnecessary files, emails, applications, and data that accumulate on our digital devices. It's the digital equivalent of hoarding, cluttering our devices and minds. Imagine a closet stuffed with clothes you never wear. Digital clutter is the same concept, but in the virtual realm. Think of all the files you've downloaded and forgotten, the apps you rarely use, and the countless emails cluttering your inbox. These are all forms of digital clutter. Unnecessary files such as duplicates or outdated documents take up valuable storage space and create confusion. Unused apps clutter our screens and slow down our devices. Emails, especially unread or uncategorized ones, can be a major source of stress and distraction. Each item may seem insignificant on its own, but together they create a digital landfill that impedes our productivity and steals our focus. Recognizing these common forms of digital clutter is the first step towards reclaiming control over our digital lives. The impact of digital clutter extends beyond a messy desktop or a full inbox. It takes a toll on our mental well-being, creating feelings of stress and anxiety. Imagine searching for an important document amidst a sea of unsorted files. This frantic search triggers stress and anxiety. A cluttered digital space competes for our attention, leading to mental fatigue. The constant barrage of notifications and disorganized files can be incredibly distracting. This constant digital stimulation leaves us feeling drained and mentally exhausted. A section four, taming the digital beast, practical tips for organization. Don't be overwhelmed by the task of digital decluttering. Start small and focus on one area at a time. Begin by tackling your desktop, the visual representation of your digital space. Delete unnecessary files and shortcuts, creating a clean and organized workspace. Next, move to your downloads folder, a common dumping ground for digital clutter. Sort through downloads, deleting anything you no longer need and organizing the rest into appropriate folders. Tackle your inbox one step at a time. Unsubscribe from newsletters you no longer read and create folders to categorize important emails. Organize your files into a clear and logical system. Use descriptive folder names and consider creating subfolders within broader categories. For example, within a documents folder, you might have subfolders for work, personal, and financial. This systematic approach makes it easy to find what you need, eliminating the stress of searching through a jumbled mess. Section five, maintaining the digital zen. Make it a habit. Digital decluttering is not a one-time task. It's an ongoing process. Just as you wouldn't clean your house once and expect it to stay tidy forever, digital organization requires regular maintenance. The key is to integrate small habits into your daily routine. Schedule a specific time each week, even if it's just 15 minutes, dedicated to digital decluttering. During this time, delete unnecessary files, unsubscribe from unwanted emails, and organize your digital spaces. Make it a habit to delete unnecessary files immediately. Regularly review the apps on your devices and delete those you no longer use. These small actions, done consistently, prevent digital clutter from accumulating and keep your digital spaces running smoothly. Remember, a clutter-free digital life is an ongoing journey, not a destination. Embrace the process and enjoy the benefits of a more organized and productive digital you.